Royal Caribbean's icon of the seas is the world's largest cruise ship, but we knew that Royal Caribbean's next new ship was going to be impressive, but it's pretty darn incredible how they can push the boundaries of what we can expect on a cruise ship. And we have a full walkthrough tour of Icon of the Seas. This 20-deck high cruise ship comes in at 25,800 tons, winning the title of the biggest cruise ship in the world from Sister Vessel, Wonder of the Seas. So if you're looking for great hot tub experience, that might be the case right there because there's a lot of cool things happening when it comes to those type of experiences. So the swim and tonic is the first swim up the bar at sea. And sweat bars have always been popular on Willow Creek's private island perpetuity. A Waste of Lagoon has one and Hideaway Beach has one. And they are so popular because like, it's just, it is the exact vibe that I think everybody wants with a Caribbean vacation a little further away from all the action, like deck, you know. The 1516, that's gonna be a little busier, right? Because that's gonna be the heart of Chill Allen. But if you got 17, you're in the uppermost pool deck, and here it's a little quieter, a little less music. Thrill Island is where you're gonna find all the activities, all the things to keep you and your kids busy during your cruise. Thrilliant has a different number of components to it, but primarily the Category 6 water park is at the heart of it. Category 6 is the name of the water park, and it's called Category 6 because number 1's plan words Category 5, Hurricane. You know, anyway, Category 6, but there's slides to it, which makes it a little bit different there. And this is a really big deal because on other relevant cruise ships, they have two, maybe three slides. And Willow Caribbean is really proud of the fact that on an icon, you're going to have an entire water park here, which is truly impressive when it comes to Thrill Water Park. First of all, these slides are included in your crease hair, so there is no extra cost for you to enjoy it. Hurricane Hunter, the first family wrapped slide at sea, and Storm Surge, the first suspended family wrapped slide at sea. There's also a basketball court within Thrill Island, and the basketball court, well, of course. You play basketball in it, obviously. It's known as Adrenaline Peak, and the rock climbing wall has been a staple of really a lot of different things to do over on any roller coming cruise ship. Really, when you look at the hideaway, all of it faces the back. All of it is right up against the edge of the end of the ship. Although I say peace and quiet again, I don't know how quiet. It's going to be because these are adults after all, and adults like to have a good time. Surfside is a new neighborhood dedicated to young families, and it's at the heart of the focus of Icon of the Seat. There's a new pool-themed version of Royal Green's Carousel, and a bar with Mommy and Me matching mocktails for kids, and cocktails for grown-ups. But older kids, obviously, this might be a little more juvenile for them. But the idea here is that you're going to have some cool things to trek out. We're starting with some of the stores around here. And the stores here sells different items for kids, like toys and bathing suits. It's all self-contained because traditionally when you go on a cruise ship and you have kids, it's great. Like this is so much bigger and so much more ornate than when my kids were at that age. But it's a really cool place for you to go as adult. But at its heart... This is a living park within Icon, and this is a really cool idea where just in the middle of the ship on deck, eight, you're going to find an entire park. Usually, Chops on Real Caribbean looks very dark, and it's you. No, it has this dark woods and I guess more of a traditional steakhouse restaurant anyway. It has that lounge space, the pool we talked about, as well as his Mediterranean restaurant that offers a variety of foods to choose from. Again, part of this also with Icon is that when you're staying in a suite. You don't have to leave the suite area nearly as much as you might on other river cruise ships because you have coastal cushion. And think of coastal kitchen as kind of like a main dining room for sweet guests, and it certainly can still go to the main dining room here. Again, one of the signature neighborhoods on Icon of the Seas. The Aquadome is more than just an indoor aqua theater, although that is the main park of it. There are two different shows you can see just to make some time for that. But they made this area just so beautiful with the different seating and, of course, all the glass around you to be able to see the ocean. And when you look at the pools, that's a traditional, you know, seating activity. But over here, maybe you're not interested in sunning yourself necessarily, but you still want to see the ocean. Casino Royale as well, of course, the ship's casino. And it is a massive space. I'm impressed by how big it is and how much space and how many things they've been able to fit in this area. They can even have a bar inside of the casino, which has actual slot machines in there that you can play while you're drinking. It's a very popular choice. 
Nonetheless, for a lot of people going on a cruise and gambling is a big part of the fun, I like going on the casino and gambling a little bit. And so having this casino is probably among the best I've ever seen on any real Caribbean cruise ship. So the loyalty ambassador is where you can go to meet anybody who you might have a question about your loyalty, status, like your points and booking cruises and any issues you might have on board the ship. There's guest services up next and guest services where you can go if you ever have an issue. Of course, guest services available 24 hours a day. So dueling pianos, maybe you've seen this on land somewhere, but you got two pianos. If you want to go to dueling pianos, I would show up at least 20 minutes earlier than the posted showtime because the tables and seats go very, very quickly. And this is probably Royal Caribbean's best comedy club. Because on other Royal Caribbean cruise ships, the comedy club kind of doubles as like a nightclub and things of that nature. There's no additional cost for it, and there's usually two or three comedians on any given cruise. You gotta try it all the pizzas, the pastas, and I was gonna say, if you're gonna do it, especially restaurant, Giovanni's is among my top three for sure on any cruise ship, including here on Icon. Now what I come, what I love about the Windjammer is, of course, the different stations that are here, the sheer variety, and the amount of places you can go to get different kinds of food. Other times you want a salad and a full meal on top of each. Other, it's really nice to have that at the Windjammer. So if you're going to the Windjammer, I think it's a great choice. For not only embarkation day, but also throughout your cruise. Don't overlook it. It costs $200 a person, but this is a meal experience unlike anything else Royal Caribbean has ever offered. This is an incredible new option for Royal Caribbean to provide something a little bit different, a little more intimate, and quite frankly, a little bit more luxuries as well. There's three decks high, is available for breakfast and dinner, every day of your cruise and lunch on sea days. And it is including your cruise fare, but more importantly, it is a very much luxurious, elegant throwback to the old days of cruising, depending on which dining time you have, you'll Either have for dinner, traditional, or my time. So if you have a traditional, he'll have the same table, the same weights app, and the same table mates every night of your cruise. Maybe you have a different dining time, but of course that allows more flexibility in terms of, you know, where you want to eat and what time. Now, if you have a kid that's between 6 months, 36 months, old, there's Adventure Ocean Babies, a.k.a. the nursery. The idea here is that you have an area just for teens to enjoy called Social Low 20 for the teens to go to, and both of these are located right near each other. People have to catch any game that's going on in addition. There are video games and pool tables and basically an opportunity to enjoy a sports bar vibe. Sixth in Maine is best to describe as well Royal Caribbean. Gear, but it's more like active wear, I guess. Absolute Zoe is the ice skating rink, and it is where you're gonna Find the ice skating shows on Icon of the Seas. In addition to this, there are opportunities during your cruise to actually go ice skating during your sailing. Look in the app for times for that's available, but really you're going to absolute O, oh, it's for you to enjoy. The Royal Theater is where you're gonna find the Wizard of Oz, one of the signature shows on Icon of the Seas. And what's cool about this is just how much time and effort Royal Crumb has put in to revive this classic film on stage with musical numbers and performers and an orchestra. Royal Kerman always does a good job with its production. Shows and The Wizard of Oz might be one of their best ever. Music Hall is located on deck three and four, and this is a multi-purpose musical venue primarily. Music Hall has to go. For you want to enjoy, of course, live musical acts. During the daytime, you're also going to have trivia and bingo and other things in here, but this is a really impressive space because, of course, Music Hall provides these live musical accent. Royal Caribbean's always been really good, uh, providing live music on a show surprise itself on the live. Musical entertainment and the music hall is one of the best faces to enjoy that energy you can only get from a band. Performing right in front of you. Anyway, I digress. The fitness center is more than just like a hotel room that has, you know, a couple of weights in the corner. There's a lot here, and the fitness center is included in your cruise fair, which is truly incredible when you think about how many different options you have. These do cost extra, but if you're interested in cycling or Pilates, well, then you could pay a little bit extra to enjoy those classes while on board your cruise. And if he gets a diamond, one of the major perks is to go to 
the Crown Lounge, and be able to enjoy the benefits here, including the Diamond Ambassador who's there to help you out. So the Conference Center is the space you can go to if you have a different group that's on board, maybe you're part of a meeting or a consortia or what have you. Anyway, it exists if you're just going on to Royal Caribbean Cruise. You'll never need to go here, but the space does exist if you ever want to have a group meeting in the Conference Center on Icon of the Seas. The elevator game is complete changed up because the standard elevator experience has been completely re-imagined instead of pressing a button and waiting for an elevator that may or may not stop at your floor, passengers. Now input their destination into a touchpad located outside the elevator. The innovative elevator system is just one of many steps. Realtor has taken to enhance the onboard experience for passengers on Icon of the Seas. When you book a cruise on Icon, you're going to pick one of these many cabins that are inside, ocean view, balconies, and suites in. In this video, we're just taking a look at one of the standard balconies cabins that overlooks the ocean, but there are a variety of cabins to choose from. Royal Caribbean wants to have price points, different variety of cabins available for you, but obviously checking out the old family townhouse as well.